And good morning, folks. I can't remember if I wore this shirt yesterday or the day before, but I've been busy. Okay. Oh, let's comb my hair. Now, information is getting distorted because of yellow d journalism and also the leftist media rant throughout mainstream media. So I wouldn't trust it. I always go for other sources. I'm tired. I'm not doing links anymore. Had it had too many dislikes when I told the truth. So like I said, uh, let's see. Video three. Because I'm getting sick and tired of everybody. You won't listen to old Uncle Al. And you only got two weeks before it hits the fan. I mean, the fan hits you and the poo hits you and Uncle Alan hits you. It's going to be bad. If you're not awakened, this will awaken when I beat it into your head. I am tired. Okay? You should have been ready. I've been warning people for the last four years. And it's going to be ugly. How ugly it's going to be, Uncle Al? Real ugly. Okay. Again, Stacy Adams Abrams got twenty million dollars from unknown sources, Asian sources, west of Japan. How much did Uncle Alan get? I got a dollar seventy-five in the donation box. Okay, you could help Uncle Al. I got three more boxes to fill end of the month, and I'm going to do it by any means. I'll work. I'll do odd jobs. I'll collect cans, whole garage sales. I will get that quota done. I have a hundred ninety-six dollars to go. Because I am sick and tired of people whining and complaining. If you can't take it, go check out my introduction video with the nice little doggy. Okay? Because Uncle Alan's that kind of person. He's nice. He babysits. He gardens. A lot. Okay? And later on after they have breakfast, because I had another person go over there with their nurse, to make sure they ate a proper breakfast. Because I don't want to happen like last time. They had a diabetic fit. Right in the middle of the store. So when I get the call from the nurse. I'm going to go with them. We're going to walk through the store. Pick up items. I got to make sure they follow their shopping list. I got to make sure it's healthy food. And I got to make sure it lasts until next month. Because a lot of elderly and disabled people. Pick up snack food and junk food. No nutritional value. Or it's too hard for them to cook. I cook. Now, back to the baby formula. Video 3. This is going to be a long one. Because I have to explain everything. I hope we... Okay. We'll do this. We use this. This is coming up in another video. Yeah. This is what happens when you get old and you can't find stuff. Okay. Baby food industry is divided up like this. Because people can't understand what I'm talking all the time. Okay. Nestle's only one third. That, that's not much. Followed by Mead and Johnson. And then Abbott Industries. Now there's like a 10% that comes from overseas private companies. That's mainly from 
Korea and Japan and another source and that and that other source is for the Amish and Mennonite communities it's real small so I don't even put it up there now it'll be listed down below in the description box I just can't do fancy stuff okay ow, ow, ow. okay out of those three companies 98% of all baby foods in the United States are manufactured by these company, companies. Abbott industry is 43%. If you have like California WIC program, it's usually these people. And I'll explain the rumor going around of, they're storing baby food at the border, which is a bunch of crock. Abbott's listed down below industries, not Governor Abbott. Get your information right, folks. Do your own research. This is why Uncle Alan got bags underneath his eyes. Also, I have glaucoma, so it doesn't really help me. One, Abbott Industry. 43% of baby foods in WIC programs throughout the United States are from these folks. Okay? A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people... Listen to rumors, yellow journalism, the leftist crazy ass media. Number two is Mead and Johnson. Off branch of Johnson and Johnson. Mead been was absorbed by Johnson and Johnson. It was a very good uh, dry milk and baby food provider. It started in the late twenties to replace the idiotic homegrown version of dried milk. They did it correctly and they did it right at higher temperatures and they developed a system that blasts milk, which is not cooked, but uh, not evaporated, but it's more like, it's very hot, like I do for pasteurization at the dairy and right down the logbook. It's blasted into a sealed, almost near vacuum room at a hot temperature. It's either 225, I mean, it's hot. You can put yourself in there and cook. Or it's 375 degrees at so many minutes. And it blasts and the product falls down and it gets sucked out immediately to cool. It's very complicated. And I don't trust anybody with it. Well, I got a dehydrator run off a 60 watt light bulb. Okay, same thing goes with powdered eggs. Powdered eggs is not eggs it's actually it's a cooked product i re researched it again actually it's steam cooked and then blast into the same thing mead got a lot of money off of this system so johnson johnson bought them out they own 37 percent of the market of baby food formula and then finally on the third on the bottom is nestle nestle does everybody else does europe it does asia it does uh, South America, Africa, it covers the rest of the world. United States and Canada, only 18% right here. This is all listed down below in the description box. Okay? Uh, this is why Uncle Alan's tired. Okay, so that takes care of it. Nestle is bringing in product from Mexico and Europe to help supply what Abbott industry screwed up. Some bonehead at Abbott industry thought, hey, let's say, don't do the process and just dehydrate baby milk or use soy products. Uh, not a good idea. It's like playing Russian roulette. Babies who consume soy products have a good chance of exploding. You know, they swell up. That's why we don't use it on cattle or dairy because they tried experimentally here and it's gross as hell. The abdomen swells up and then, and then the baby dies. Okay. It's gross as hell. That's a baby cow. Can you imagine on an infant? Okay. Colitis, all sorts of weird ass things. So don't feed your homemade concoctions to kids. 
a lot of protein powders, I do warn people, you have to know if it's whey or not. If it's whey, it's safe in some of these home-brewed formulas. If not, do not use it. I don't want to see exploding babies. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Abbott got in trouble for cutting corners and not doing procedure. So they got smacked really hard. In a deal with the government, they provided so-called safe formula. And that's where you get the rumors, they're storing formula at the border. No, it isn't. It was part of their WIC program. Unfortunately, where they located it was in Texas, Arizona, and California. That's where the rumors started. Do your research. Okay, and it's not Governor Abbott. Abbott Industries. So, total separate identity. All right? So, that squashed that stupid rumor down. Number two. Across the board, every state in the nation has a 43% shortage or off the shelf of all baby food products. It went across the board. This is part of Captain Crazy's program. Okay. Where do baby food come from? Oh, from magic. Captain Crazy's idea. Us producers who are organic and we provide way for these products told to cut back 43%. Okay? So, you could blame Captain Crazy for the 43% national decline in all baby products. Okay? It's the truth. Go do your research. Captain Crazy is trying to kill Americans before he dies in office. Probably, hopefully, on the toilet. Totally out of stock, 50% of the United States is Montana, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Texas. Okay, some areas of Texas still have that's older stock. Please check the dates. Be very, very careful. Okay, uh, District of Columbia, good luck. You won't find anything. Arkansas, uh, is it Arkansas? No. Arizona. Arizona, you have a big problem. Okay, Arizona with the baby uh, food, it's either gone totally or it's in batches in certain areas. And you will pay a higher price for this. All right. Tennessee, again, 50% out of stock. It's not there. You won't get it back. Delaware. 50% out of stock. Some areas may carry it, but you're going to pay a premium to get baby food. Any kind of baby food. So liver and peas, how much did that cost? $26. Okay. So remember, those states will be listed down below. 50% out of stock. So anyway, sorry this was a long one. Ah, it burns my eyes. Okay, I don't put the ten the two percent. It's too small to draw, but Abbott's the biggest, followed by Mead and Johnson, and then finally Nestle. Nestle controls the big thing in the rest of the world. Abbott controls America and Canada. Mead and Johnson also. So that answers your question on baby food. I'll probably get a dislike on it. Please spread it out to your friends and family. Somebody put it on other social media because Uncle Alan's getting tired. And this is video three. You only have two more videos and then I'm changing format and you're on your own. Okay, I am tired of all people doing harebrained, idiotic, uh, whatchamacallit. Listen to rumors, panic. It's the end of the world. No, it isn't. World's going to be still here. It's going to end end of your idea of reality. Okay? Do you see Uncle Alan's panicking? No. Uncle Alan's going to do a good, good thing. I'm taking an elderly couple after they eat breakfast to go shopping. Okay? What the hell are you doing to support your community? To do something good? Are you talking to your neighbors? 
to make sure they have to form a food supply. It could be a week. It could be three months. It could do anything like that. But tell your neighbors. And if they don't understand, like I, I had my list printed out in Spanish and I forget what other language. Spanish and the Southeastern language. Cambodian and Laotian. I'm getting old. And have it printed out and explain everything. And then before I printed out the Cambodian and Laotian, I talked about um, the types of food they eat. Because a lot of people use a generic food list. Well, we eat this and that. It doesn't fit to other cultures. You have to fit what your family eat and what your culture eat. This is why I tell people, watch my video through. And after the comedy and trying to get past the algorithms and the AIs, you get gems of information. And I'll see you later. You have a nice day. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.